Hey guys, 828 Fine Adventure here. I'm gonna make a little video of some interior mods that I did, and these would also make great gifts. You know, certain times of years for the holidays or for your birthday or whatever you want. Um, I just wanted to share these with you because some are really cheap and they look really good and uh, they're also very thoughtful gifts. Anything you get that protects the vehicle or helps you in any way is a, uh, a very thoughtful gift. So I wanted to share these with you and, um, you know, you know, just do your own research. Um, you know, I did research before I bought them and, uh, you know, then just see, just, you know, see what's out there. And, uh, you know, I hope this video gives you some, uh, ideas of what to get somebody or a gift for yourself. So anyways, um, if you would, while I have you here, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe it's uh, it's really just a free thing to do and it helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it so uh, anyways let's get on with this video let's do it okay first off I've got this nice it's it looks like a TRD Pro um, shift knob I got this on Amazon and it was half the price it has the red stitching right here and it's made really well I've had this for about a year now and and I just like it. It's a better design. And the one that came with this truck was silver and it reflected sun. So uh, I had to get rid of that pretty quick. This one matches the interior better and has a nice, you know, it's just a nice shape. So that's one That's one thing that, you know, if you're looking for, for a mod to do for your truck or a gift to buy for somebody, a shift knob is always a good start. I've also got this from AJT Designs. I blacked out the chrome on the uh, console here and when I did that you could pick these little anodized bolts and you know you can get them in black or blue or silver or you know I picked red they've kind of faded a little but they still look red and still look good and uh, this helps a lot these three pieces here um, get rid of all that chrome I do not know why they have so much chrome in these tundras so that's that's another thing right there Third, I've got this right here. If your vehicle came with CarPlay and you have to plug in your phone to get your CarPlay to work, this works great. This is just a little module. You plug it into the USB and then it connects through Bluetooth with your phone and it goes ahead and puts all the, I'm gonna show you. Let me just show you right here. So right here. And this will, it'll put all the apps up here that you want to do. You've got little mapping apps for going over landing. Or... All right, so we have the apps here. We can go back and forth here. And it looks great. And so you have all these apps here. you got your Apple Music or whatever your Android music. You've got, you know, Toyota apps. You know, I've got my Google Maps. So I can press that and, you know, Onks off road. If I'm looking for some trails, Amazon Music, it's great. Has them all right there. So let's check out something else here. Right here, these are a little phone mount that connects to your vent. Got another one right here. I got these from Hondo Garage. Now there are other ones out there that you can get that connect to the vents. I'll show you how I put my phone on here. just like that and one thing I like about this is these little mounts here that connect to the vent by a Hondo garage um, they take the RAM mounts and the RAM mounts and arms you can get in just a million different configurations you know this is another type of thing to hold your phone and you can get longer arms shorter arms arms that extend out um, they use them in a lot of the patrol cars and uh, different things like that. So they've got a million applications for you to use. Also, one thing I like about this is when I'm driving, I can just touch my phone. So if I wanted to just, you know, sit here and, you know, click an app, maybe it's for my Garmin, you know, power switch or something like that, I can just click it and do that and I don't have to take my hands off the wheel. But in, in a lot of vehicles, in a lot of different ways you have it configured, that might not happen, but 
you know, that's the way I did it. All right, let's see. Another one over here is I have these vent rings to cover up the chrome. Now I'll put a link under the description on these two. These just double stick tape on, but they, they cover the chrome really well. There's some others out there that are really tiny, but these right here go on really well. And they've been, they've been on here for about six months. I've got one right over here. Now I don't have any here yet because they will not work with the phone mount. If I change this phone mount, which I'm thinking of doing maybe, um, to something different, just, just to do it, uh, I will put those on there. But until I do that, I'm just gonna leave these chrome. They don't bother me too much. Another gift out there, if you're interested in it, you know, a lot of people call them the uh, grandpa dash, but I like it because it cuts down on the glare. Is I got one of these carpeted dash mats for the dash and um, they're good for, you know, you can stick Velcro patches to them, but they're really good for cutting down the glare and they keep, you know, they keep the dust down and they keep just, you know, I, I think they also, you know, probably keep the heat down because a black dash like in these tundras really, really creates a lot of heat, especially with your windshield. And uh, this kind of insulates it. So, you know, this is just another idea, you know, just to throw around, you know, if you're looking for a gift for somebody. Oh, and don't let me forget, these little rubber things that are inserts that kind of go in the, the console places, I don't know what you call them, uh, drink holder mats, maybe that's what you call it. I got this kit and, uh, you know, and it, it does really well. Um, you know, it. Uh, one thing I've noticed is some of them, you know, I really don't, don't utilize because I don't put anything like keys in here that would rattle or change but they definitely help in the drink sections and up here. It keeps things from sliding around up here. Like if I put, I don't know, my, uh, somebody's phone or a camera up here, it doesn't slide around. But, so these little rubber mats, they're handy. You can get them with different color stripes. You can get blue and gray and white. And you know, I got red. It's probably a little too much red for the truck, but um, couldn't find any in solid black. And you can get these, you know, on Amazon or from some different companies out there. So check out my links if you want to see them. You know, they've been, um, they've been real good. They're easy to clean. You know, I just vacuum them. I haven't washed them or anything like that. But, you know, other than that, they, they you know, they do pretty good. Now, if you wanted to really spend some money and spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks or something like that, you know, these WeatherTech mats are amazing. You know, I've got these on both sides. Let me show you right here. They're dirty, but I use them a lot and they're easy to clean up, easy to vacuum, and they fit perfect. And uh, WeatherTech's a good brand. They really stand behind their products. And, you know, if you wanted to throw down a little more money, that would be something you could get. Now in the back seat, I have these bags from Blue Ridge Overland. This one here is the trash bag that hangs on the back of the seat. Use it literally every day. Um, you know, I put trash in it or I make my kid put his trash in it. And on the headrest up here, I have this Velcro piece that straps around the headrest that they made. You can see there, Blue Ridge Overland gear. And uh, it's all Velcro. And I have a bag here I use as a first aid kit. And you can see that, and it just sticks up there. I keep my quick clot and my trauma packs and all that stuff in there. And it just goes on the headrest like that. It's out of the way, and it's always there if I need it. Just grab it. So you know it works pretty good. That's about all I've got in the back seat um, when it comes to little mods or little things that you could gift to somebody. The Blue Ridge Overland gear, though, it's good stuff. I might, I might get a couple more things from them. They really do a great job. The stitching's great. The quality's good. Like I said, I use this trash bag seriously every day. So, it's really nice to have back here. And it doesn't bother passengers too much if they're in the back seat as well. All right, guys. 
I hope you liked that short video. I just did it to help you out in case you're looking for a gift for somebody that owns a Tundra or a full-size truck. Some of these mods will also work in the uh, Tacomas. Um, just wanted to share with you. I hope it helps. Do your research. See what you can find. I'm putting links under the video in the description on all these things and a few extras. You can see what I've done to my truck under there and see a few links. Um, you know, and I make videos on everything I install on my truck. So check it out. Check my channel out. It might help you with the install. It might help you give you some ideas. Um, if you would, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't and hit the subscribe button. It's just kind of a free thing that helps me out and I really appreciate it and it helps the channel grow. And I will see you next time. I'm making a bunch of videos before the end of the year. So I will see you then. See ya. Thank you.